And I'm a new mum to our little boy Elliot who is two months old now and in today's video I'm going to be filming my first post lockdown haul so these are the first few things that I have actually gone out to the shops to buy for our son um, we've been buying everything online or you know our family has given us everything else that we've um, been dressing him in and stuff like that um, but I sort of ventured out um, the other day to our local shopping centre and just bought a few bits so these are the first few things that I'm gonna put in a haul for you um, I'm gonna do it in the order in which I walked around the shops and bought them so the first shop we went in to was the works so um, I think most people have them around the country so it's like basically a bookshop and a stationery shop so I picked up these two Peter Rabbit books and um, they're a really good price they were only two pounds each and um, I've got a bit of a Peter Rabbit theme in this haul actually. I like Peter Rabbit um, for our little boy and these are a nice little size and eventually I would like to get some shelves and put some books up in the shelves. So these are a good size for that and um, they're a good size for us to sit in bed and read to him. And um, They've got some gorgeous illustrations and um, they're really nice thick sort of card. So obviously I know that babies and toddlers are a bit heavy handed so hopefully they won't bend the pages um, so yeah just really really nice and for two pounds you can't really go wrong with some nice quality Peter Rabbit books so I've got two of them um, one is called Three Little Bunnies and the other one is Good Night Peter so I'm guessing that's going to be a good bedtime story for Elliot um, yeah I was really pleased with them so it's two Peter Rabbit books and then as I was walking to the till I spotted this and it is Pugs don't wear pyjamas. Obviously this is quite a bit bigger than the first one and it's not got that thick cardboard. But um, if you're new here and you don't watch my vlogs, um, we have got a pug called Penelope. So I could not resist picking this up. Um, so hopefully our little boy will love this when he's a little bit older and can understand that we've got a pug. And it's Pug in the book. Um, again, it's probably, I'm guessing, a bedtime story because it's about pyjamas. Well, I know a lot of reading is done at night time with children um, but yeah definitely had to pick that up it was um, two pound it wasn't an offer three for five pound um, but I didn't really want to spend too long browsing like and picking out other books um, it wasn't part of the deal with the Peter Rabbit ones um, so I just grabbed that one because I thought that is definitely something that we have got to own for Elliot and uh, my, when my husband spotted it he was like what <laughs> so yeah Pugs don't wear pyjamas. Okay, the next shop that I ended up going into was um, TK Maxx and I picked up this um, sleeping bag for my little boy because um, we recently bought him a sleeping bag. I put it in my last baby haul and he absolutely loves it. We've had really good night's sleeps since he's been using it. Um, I, I did mention this in the last um, haul but he basically doesn't really like being swaddled he kind of likes his arms to be free but I think that he doesn't mind his sort of like legs being in the like sleeping bag um, so yeah we've been having really good stretches of sleep um, since he's been in his sleeping bag so I got another one because um, Elliot is quite a sicky baby so if he was to like sick on the Winnie the Pooh one it's good if we can have a backup one sometimes he projectile vomits and obviously you don't want him to be sleeping in a sicky sleep suit all night so I thought I'm going to get a spare one so that we've got a backup if he's sick or um, you know has a messy bum in the night you never know with babies and it's got like safari animals, zebras, giraffes and it's got a little sloth there and um, it's a little bit different to the last one um, it's sort of the zip is down the centre in the last one that I got the zip was down the side um, and it's sort of nice neutral greys and yellows. His nursery is actually a bit of a grey and yellow colour theme. 
Um, so I thought that was nice. Um, that was £13. So not badly priced either. The last shop that I ended up going into was M&S. Um, like I say, I wasn't out for too long. Um, although with the whole queuing system, you do end up spending longer out. But I didn't want to be going in. So Marks and Spencer's was the last place that I ended up going. And I picked Elliot up these three sleep suits. They're just a pack of um, six to nine month sleep suits. Um, they were £14. And again, they're very neutral. Um, I do try and go for clothes that aren't always just going to be like blue for a boy. Um, so they're sort of like white and grey. And one has got triangles, sort of like different direction triangles. Um, one is grey and white stripes. I really like him in stripes. They look nice and cute. And then the last one is um, elephants. So yeah, just um, free sleeping suits for when he's a little bit older. Um, he's currently in sort of zero to three months, but he's definitely on the bigger side. Um, he's got quite chunky in the last little while. So um, I'm just trying to make sure we've got plenty of clothes um, for when he gets a bit bigger. And hopefully when he's this age, you know, it will probably be autumn time and he'll be wanting to wear, or will be wanting to put him in like longer sleeved things. So yeah. and then. Going back to the Peter Rabbit theme, I spotted this absolutely gorgeous little dungaree set and I just had to get it. Um, it's so cute, it's so stripy, it's just, oh I just had to get it. Um, and it's got like little buttons and it actually came with a pair of socks as well. Um, so I just think that's going to look so cute on him. That is again six to nine months. So I'm imagining that this will probably fit him in a couple of months time. Um, yeah, it says £20 and he's currently £12 um, but he is growing rapidly so it won't be long before he's in that I imagine. And a similar little outfit, um, not quite as smart as the Peter Rabbit one because um, it hasn't got that like Peter Pan collar um, but it's similar design because it's like um, red stripy dungarees and it's got a pocket at the front instead of a print on it. Um, I've bought this in 9 to 12 months. And to be honest with you, it's not really, I don't know if you can, hang on, it's, pretty... it's not really a lot bigger than the six to nine months, um, but I thought maybe for like Christmas time, um, like the red stripes might like look quite cute and we could put like a little Christmassy jumper over it. Um, I know that I'm thinking in advance way too much here, but um, yeah, that's why I got the slightly bigger size. Um, I'm not sure. I might keep the tags on it in case he isn't going to fit in it and swap it for a better size. Um, but yeah, I kind of had Christmas in mind with this one. Um, but again, really, really cute. I think that he's going to look really sweet in the dungarees. And it's just got like a little crossover back. And yeah, it's got a bodysuit underneath, but just like I say, it hasn't got that collar. Um, this one was £16. The Peter Rabbit one was 18 So yeah. They're not the cheapest, but they are cute little outfits and um, I couldn't resist picking those up in my first post lockdown shop. So yeah, just a pretty quick one from me today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to check out my other haul that I did a few weeks ago if you like baby hauls. And um, I do lots of family vlogs and videos and stuff like that. So check out my other videos if you like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. My Hummy Mini in this sort of grey colour. Um, we were playing some like white noise on our phone. So this is the first one.